Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial and in this video I'm going to be going over one of my favorite new features inside of Resolve 17 and that is the magic mask. Before I begin, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads and also follow my social media accounts to stay up to date with some awesome behind the scenes content that I am working on. The magic mask is becoming one of my favorite new features inside of Resolve 17 and there's a few different reasons why and I'm going to be going over that right now. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve 17 and let's start editing. Okay, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve 17 and I've already loaded in a few of my clips that I want to use. I've got this clip of our character kind of walking into frame and lifting her hand. So I've got our second clip here of our character running and that will probably confuse the magic mask just a little bit. And we'll see if we can get a nice clean mask on this clip. And the final clip here, I've got the character sitting at a desk and her blazer is blending into the wall behind her. And we're going to see if the magic mask will work against that. So let's go to our first clip and to access the magic mask, all you got to do is just go over to the color tab. The magic mask feature is over in this panel here and we're just going to go over to this icon and this is our magic mask and as you can see we've got a few different options over here we've got person and we've got features person will be tracking the person um, we've got features and you can actually go in and isolate certain parts of a person so you can isolate their clothing their face their hair if they have a hat you can also isolate the hat shoes and legs and all of that sort of stuff and over on the right side of the magic mask panel we've got um, our selection options at the top here so we've got our stroke tool and we've got a few different mask overlay options over here and then at the bottom we've got the quality we've got faster and better now i've done a little bit of experimenting with the magic mask and the different qualities and better actually does work better if you don't get a, like a nice clean mask uh, you got Smart Refine here, which helps um, find the person and does a better job at that. Then you've also got some modes over here where you can adjust it even further to get more of a cleaner mask. So we've got um, Radius, Consistency, Blur Radius, Clean Blacks, Clean Whites, um, In-Out Ratios, and that helps adjust the Magic Mask and get a cleaner look. These are very similar to the other features inside the color tab and DaVinci Resolve, so there isn't a huge learning curve. Her arm is pointing off camera, and we're just going to make sure that we've got the arm selected because at the beginning of the clip, there's no arm that pops up in shot. Uh, so I'm just gonna do like a long stroke here. And as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. It can obviously be much better. You can see that it hasn't correctly done that, but we can fix that later. So let's just track this for now track also if you don't have the red overlay you can actually go over to this icon here and we can toggle mask overlay so we can turn that off and we can turn that on just so we can see where the mask is so as you can see it's just finished tracking I've tracked it forward and it hasn't tracked the whole clip because we started in the middle of the clip to start tracking and to simply go back and track you can just hit the track backwards button over here you can tell that the whole clip has been tracked because of the tick over here next to stroke one and it's looking pretty good there's a few glitches that we can clean up we can fix this up by doing a couple different things we can adjust the settings at the bottom here by cleaning up black or adjusting the quality to be better um, and then doing a smart refine so we've tried using smart refine and better quality that didn't really work for us so we can actually go in and click this minus option over here and that's our um, negative stroke and that will add a red stroke to wherever you want there to be no selection and what we're going to do is we're just going to track it forward and for this stroke we're only going to be tracking it forward because we don't really need it in the few frames before. I would also suggest if you're doing negative strokes to help with the mask refining, 
I would recommend um, playing the video back first and you finding where to put the stroke so there's no overlapping of where you want the selection just because if her fingers came across onto our uh, negative stroke here, it will cut into the fingers. As you can see, it's kind of doing that as it gets closer. So we've added our stroke here and you can see that it's red. So you know that's our uh, negative stroke. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's done a pretty good job. And what you can do with this feature is once you have it selected, let's just turn the mask overlay off just so we can see our character a bit better. So you can use this feature to create a color cast and do color correction on just the person. Or you could go over to this section here and click this icon here, which inverts the mask. So then you will be making color correction adjustments to the background so you can help make your character pop or the person pop a bit. So we're still on the background. So let's just toggle the mask overlay on. So the red is basically what's going to be affected. And you know, you can also use this to blur the background a bit so you can make your actor stand out from the background a bit more. So this new feature, the magic mask is extremely powerful. So you can use this to do color correction on just a single person or different elements, or you could separate them from the background. So you can even go in, let's go to our magic mask and let's invert. And then we can go over to our curves and we can make a bit more of a contrast curve. So now we've made our character stand out from the background a little bit more. Let's just say, let's just right click over here and let's add an alpha output and let's just add the blue connection, alpha connection to alpha out. And as you can see, we've cut out our person and this is great for if you want to add text behind the person. So let's just bring this clip back in. So now we can see when, once that's loaded that it's black and let's just reinsert this clip and let's add our cutout to video layer three and let's go in and add some text. We'd leave it as basic title for now and let's just scale this up. And as you can see, the text is now behind the person and you can use this for some really creative stuff. If you're doing some freeze frame title intro sort of stuff, um, this is a really handy tool to do that or any sort of um, visual effects stuff. If you don't have a green screen, this could be really good if you want to replace the background completely as well. Unfortunately, it's not in the Fusion tab, which is mainly for motion graphics and visual effects sort of stuff. So um, you can't really use the Magic Mask feature in that, but I'm hoping that Blackmagic will release in a future update um, a way to be able to use this feature inside of Fusion just because that would be really amazing for visual effects compositing. So let's go to our next clip. We've got the same character running at another person. So this might be a little bit trickier for the magic mask. So let's go back to our color tab and let's go back to our magic mask. We're just going to leave it at default for now. And I'm just going to bring this marker all the way back to the first frame. And I'm going to make sure that we've got our add stroke button with the plus tool. And we're just going to add a small stroke. So as you can see with the small stroke, it's pretty much detected the full person in this shot. So it's done a pretty good job so far. Also, another thing is you don't want to do a really long stroke because you'll think if you're adding in a really long stroke from like head to um, leg, you might get a better result. Now that might be true if there isn't a lot of movements, but if your person's running from left to right and their arms are swinging around, you will run the risk of having this blue line going onto the background as you keep tracking. So let's just track this forward and let's just watch this. And it's doing a pretty good job. It's kind of losing it a bit there. So what we can do is if we want to isolate and we just want to have it affecting the one person, we can go in and we can add the magic mask is about to go onto our second character. We can go in and add a negative stroke onto our second person, just so we're telling the magic mask not to track onto this person. So let's just track that forward now. So as you can see, it's done a pretty good job at finding a person, especially with a lot of motion going on.
And we'll stop it about there. Um, it does sort of lose it a bit when the person gets covered up. This is a fight scene, so it is going to be a bit trickier to mask. Now, this feature isn't perfect, but it does a really good job right off the bat. You will have to make adjustments here and there, but it's, it's doing a pretty good job. This is a bit of a difficult scene to use the magic mask, but I'm pretty sure with future updates, this will be much better. So let's go over to our next clip and as you can see our character has a very similar blazer to the blue background here and we're just going to see if the magic mask can detect the blazer from the blue background let's just make sure that we've got our stroke on and we're going to go over to features i'm going to show you how the features part of magic mask works so i want to isolate just the top so I'm just going to go to clothing and in brackets it says top and I'm just going to select, I'm going to create a stroke on the blue and then the white shirt underneath just so there's a bit more details for it to pick up. And as you can see, it's just selected the top. There's no face, there's no hair and even the hands, let's just zoom in and the hands aren't even selected. They're left alone pretty much. Let's just say that you wanted to add some more features in you can actually go in and select hair for example and let's just do a stroke on the top of her hair just here and as you can see it's selected the hair and the top and of course you can go in and do some tracking so that's how you use the magic mask feature inside of davinci resolve 17. if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And I'll see you guys next time.